Hi everyone! In this video, we will be discussing how to identify or classify conic section given the equation. So, ang first part natin is using its quadratic term and then the part 2 would be using the conic discriminant. So, ang una nating i-discuss is the general form of a conic section. So, it is written as ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus bx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. Ang tatlong importanteng letter dyan or numerical coefficient na kailangan nyo tandaan is yung a, b, and c. So, pag sinabi natin a, siya yung numerical coefficient of the variable x squared. Ibig sabihin siya yung kapartner ni x squared. Yung b naman is the numerical coefficient na kapartner ni xy. And then letter c is the numerical coefficient na kapartner ni y squared. Okay? So, merong dalawang solution on how to classify, quad, I mean, how to classify conic section given its equation. So, meron tayong dalawang solution. At itong video na to ay um, nakafocus sa um, solution 1, which is using its quadratic terms. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, i-analyze lang natin, i-observe lang natin yung equation, and then we will know what conic section is the given equation. Okay? So, there are four types, parabola, circle, ellipse, and hyperbola. So, using its quadratic terms, pagka parabola, either x squared or y squared is present. Ibig sabihin, isang variable lang yung naka-squared. Okay? Only one variable is squared. So, isa lang ang squared term. Okay? Mas ma pinakamadali itong parabola. Kasi kapag ka nakita mo na may isang squared term lang, it's either x squared or y squared, parabola na kagad yun. Pag sinabi natin circle, x squared and y squared are both present. Kaya para dito kay circle, ellipse, and hyperbola, lahat yan, present si x squared and y squared. Ibig sabihin, dun sa given equation, x squared and y squared are both present. Okay? Kapag ka yung a is equal to c, that's already circle. Okay? Pag not equal to c, pag a is not equal to c, it's either ellipse or hyperbola. Ngayon, malalaman natin na ellipse siya if a and c have same signs. Ibig sabihin, they are both negative or they are both positive. Kapag ka naman, they have opposite signs, meaning to say, isang positive, isang negative, si A and C. That means the given equation is hyperbola. Okay? Let us proceed with the example para mas maintindihan nyo itong rules na to in using the quadratic term. So, I have here six examples. So, let us classify each conic section given these equations. So, number one is x squared plus 10x plus y minus 21 is equal to zero. So, as you can see, only x squared is present. Isa lang yung squared term. Kapag ka isa lang yung squared term, parabola na yun. Wala nang ibang option kung hindi parabola. So, the final answer is parabola. Ibig sabihin, once na ginraph nyo yan, yung equation na yan sa taas, ang magiging itsura ng graph is parabola. Okay? Let's have the second one. Ito, dito tayo sa number 2. 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 20x minus 32y plus 81 is equal to 0. So, dito, x squared and y squared are both present. Ibig sabihin, hindi to parabola. Okay? So, it's either circle, ellipse, or hyperbola. Ngayon, kapag ka ganyan na, na meron ka ng x squared and y squared, kunin mo na yung a at saka yung c. Yung a, sabi ko sa inyo, siya yung partner ni x squared. So, ang numerical coefficient ng x squared dito is 4. And then, ang numerical coefficient ng y squared is 4. Yun yung c. Okay? So, since hindi ito parabola, mag-move tayo dun sa circle, ellipse, and hyperbola. Ngayon, i-identify nyo kung equal yung A at saka yung C. So, kapag ka kinompare ko yung A na 4 at saka yung C na 4, they are equal. Pare sila ng value. Same sign and same number. Ibig sabihin, equal sila. Pag equal sila, the answer would be circle. Ganun lang yun. Okay? So, again, ulitin ko, pag may isa lang na present na squared term, that is parabola. Ngayon, kung dalawa na yung present, we have x squared and y squared, you get the numerical coefficient. And then you compare. Pag equal sila, circle na yun. Okay? Let's have the third example. We have 25x squared plus y squared minus 100x minus 125 is equal to 0. So, dito, we have both x squared and y squared present. Okay? So, pag present yung dalawa, kunin ko yung a at saka yung c. So, yung a ko dito, 25 or numerical coefficient ng x squared. Yung y dito ay 1. Okay? May imaginary 1 dyan. Positive 1. So, i-compare ko, a is a equal to c. Not equal yan. Kasi 25 is not equal to 1. 
hindi yan same value. So, pag hindi yan equal, hindi circle. So, wala na to sa options si circle. Okay? So, it's either ellipse or hyperbola. So, malalaman yung ellipse kapag ka same sign. Ibig sabihin, parehas negative or parehas positive. Okay? So, in this case, parehas silang positive. So, they are both positive. Okay? So, same sign. Okay? So, same sign na positive. So, pag same sign na positive or negative, the answer would be ellipse. Siyempre, kung hindi same sign, wala nang iba kundi hyperbola. Okay? Let's have the fourth example. 9x squared minus y squared minus 54x minus 8y minus 59 is equal to 0. So, again, both um, variables are squared. So, parehas silang present. So, that, therefore, I would get a and c. So, ibig sabihin, guys, hindi to parabola. Okay? So, kunin ko yung a and c. So, yung a natin is 9. Yung c ko is negative 1. Okay? After that, we compare. Is a equal to c? Very obvious, 9 and negative 1, they are not equal. They don't have the same value. Okay? So, since hindi sila equal, it's either ellipse na lang or hyperbola. So, we will look at the signs. We have positive 9 and negative 1. So, ibig sabihin, um, opposite sign sila. So, pag opposite sign, si A and C, the answer would be hyperbola. So, ganun lang siya, guys. Ganun lang yung rules using quadratic terms. Okay? Let's have number 5. So, y squared minus 72x minus 153 is equal to 0. So, very obvious na isa lang yung squared term, which is y squared. Ibig sabihin, guys, you do not have to get the value of a and c. Kasi nakita nyo na na y squared lang ang present, therefore, it is already parabola. So, kapag ka isa lang ang present, parabola. Okay, let's have the last example. x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 2y plus 9 is equal to 0. So, again, we have two squared terms. We have x squared and y squared. They are both present. So, we will get a and c. So, ang a ko dito, yung kapartner ni x squared, may imaginary dyan na 1, so 1. Kapartner ni y squared, si c, so 1 din. Okay, now we will compare. Is a equal to c? Is 1 equal to 1? Same value ba yan? Yes. So, kung same value yan, circle. So, the final answer in this um, classification dito sa number 6 is circle. So, again, ulitin ko guys, pag ellipse, not equal ng C, tapos same sign, ibig sabihin parehas positive or parehas negative, kapag ka naman, opposite signs, then it is a hyperbola. Okay? So, that is it for using its quadratic term. Sa part 2, gagamitin naman natin yung conic discriminant.